thank you for driving us here. Uh, oh, sure thing. Anytime, Mr. Jet. Have a good evening. Thanks. You too. Do you think that maybe we should have brought Jessa or maybe Vanessa with us? That would have made us look like we don't trust them. As I recall, we don't. You mean you don't. What? You're, you're right. It's best to look like we're not scared or don't trust them. I'm sure they, they just want to have us over and- My gosh! <laughs> Sierra, calm down. Pretty sure you're the only one that's scared. Well, actually, scratch that. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one not petrified to be having dinner with our lovely leaders. Let's go. I'm sorry, Bryce, but I'm drawing the line here. What? What are you talking about? First, you're rude to me and Jet. Explain? You've constantly asked me questions about my personal life that I really didn't feel like sharing. As I remember, you said you didn't mind sharing that information with other pets. Ever heard of taking a hint before, Bryce? I've known you for what, a day and a half, and you're all ready to take my arm and kiss me? I've known Jet for six years, and you don't see me slobbering all over his face, do you? <laughs> Sierra, I- No! Get away from me! I think this conversation is over. I agree. It's over. Let's go, Jet. We're here to see... Hello. Welcome to the Harridan residence. Our lovely leaders, King and Marari Harridan, have been expecting you. Jet, Bryce, and Sierra, please enjoy your visit. I'll escort the three of you inside. Do you have a name? Yes, my name is Emerita. I am King Harridan's dream protector. Well, thank you, Emerita, for letting us in. Wow, their home is absolutely gorgeous. Why, thank you, Sierra. If there's one thing Marari and I agree on, it's interior design. <laughs> Let me show you three to the dinner table. We just finished preparing when you walked in. our favorite residence. Please, take a seat. Jet, I don't... I don't feel good. It's okay. 
I'll sit next to you. Everything looks delicious. Thank you for having us over. Yes, thank you. Mm, yeah, everything, everything's really, really good. Well, I couldn't think of a better signal to start eating. Enjoy. So, Jet, I heard you're studying psychology. Is that correct? It, yeah, it is. Where'd you hear that from? Your mother. I was doing some shopping the other day and ran into her. Such a sweet pet. Do you and she get along well? I suppose, but we have different views on things, so that leads to arguments a lot of the time. <laughs> really? What sort of things? Well, you know, uh, just, um... Marari, I think it's best if we don't ask about matters that don't concern us. Hmm. Very well. Bryce, you're still in high school, right? Yep. Good old 10th grade. And how are you liking that? Clear it's off the table, please. Socializing yes, is basically the best part about it, but, you know. Any classes that you enjoy? Lunch and home economics and really any class that has to do with food. And that's about it. Oh. Miss Marari, are you finished with your meal? Oh, yes, I am. Thank you. Sierra, aren't you interested in culinary arts too? Uh, oh, uh, in a way, yes. I work down at Blossom's Bakery. By the library? Ah, they have the most wonderful pastries and tea there. I especially enjoy the strawberry-filled ones with a cup of lemon ginger tea. <laughs> what a coincidence. The strawberry-filled pastries are my favorite too. My co-worker Gianna makes them. I'll have to bring some over the next time I visit. That'd be lovely. Yes, well, as leaders of the community, we are quite busy pets, as I'm sure you're aware. We don't have time to sit on our tails all day and eat pastries. We do it every day at two. <sighs> Ugh. You work at Blossom's Bakery? That place is so... Revolting, loathsome, distasteful, and maybe a hint of appalling? I like the way you think, Bryce. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say awful, but hey, those words work too. Really, Bryce? What makes the bakery so awful? We're always open to suggestions to improve, so please, do share. You. Aww, did you only say that because I wouldn't hold your little immature high school student paw as we walked in here? Sorry that my tastes are reserved for the more refined than for puppies who aren't potty trained. Whoa. Ouch. Sierra! Ugh. <laughs> My tastes are reserved for the pets that don't bark about everything that bothers them. delightful music. Sierra, would you care to dance with me? Uh, um, yeah, sure. <gasps> Wonderful. Jet, help me.
Jet isn't home yet. I wonder if he's enjoying himself at the Harridan residence. I will go and see if Jet's mother needs any assistance. Hello, do you need anything? Hmm. Oh, hi, Jet. Oh, it's you. I thought you were Jet for a second. Jet hasn't arrived home yet from the Harridan residence. Would you like me to assist you with anything? No, thank you, Jessa. Just leave. Jessa? Yes? Does Jet still think he knows the quote-unquote truth about his father? As far as I am aware, yes. Are you thinking of telling him the real truth? No. Jet thinks I hate him enough as it is now. Telling him that would be the mortifying conclusion to you and I's relationship with him. I never knew what a talented dancer you are, Sierra. Why, uh, thank you. I studied ballroom dancing over the past two summer times. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> this night has let me know that we are far more alike than I thought. Interesting. I too enjoy ballroom dancing. Mirari always thought it was a waste of time to learn and would rather spend her time playing games like chess and checkers. But, there's something oddly relaxing and refreshing about it. Yeah. I don't think I mentioned this yet. But you look absolutely beautiful in that dress. Did you pick it out yourself? <laughs> You're really too kind, King. Yes, I did pick it out myself. Jet and ugh, Bryce really seem to like it as well. I couldn't help but notice your hint of disgust at Bryce at the dinner table. Did he say something to you that you disliked? <laughs> It was more than a few distasteful words. Watching the two of them dance together either makes me laugh or leaves me disgusted. Why? Do you wish you were in King's place? No, but it sounds like you do. Huh. Good joke. Sierra and I won't ever be anything more than friends, no matter how much either of us would like that to change. Huh. What? King, could I ask you something? Of course. Okay, I've never seen this happen, and, you know, probably never will, but what would happen if... Two guard dogs would, I don't know, interact with each other. Because I know there's that law that says they're not supposed to, but what would happen if they did? Oh, uh, I'm not really supposed to. That's it. I can't watch this any longer. What the? It pains me to inform you two of this, but King... Bryce 
Jet, and Sierra must leave. Why? Their invitations have expired. Excuse me? I know you all heard what I said. Get out! Sierra! Wait up! Sierra, what's wrong? Jed, I think Marahari's mad at me, and I'm really scared. She's mad at everyone all the time. <laughs> um, but it's nothing to worry about, Sierra. I'm sure she just... Um, uh, maybe she was just jealous of you dancing with her brother. I don't know. Uh, I knew this was a bad idea. Well, it's not like we had a choice. Sierra, everything's gonna be fine, okay? They're not gonna come after you. But they were asking us all of those questions. It felt more like an interview than a dinner. You got that right. It was definitely weird. But just try to forget about it. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll try. I think I know why Marari's mad. She's mad at Sierra for liking someone who's at a much higher level than she is. <laughs> Seriously, Bryce, just lay off. We didn't include you in this conversation, so just go home. I don't like King. Honestly, Bryce, just take your little immature tale home. Well, don't I just feel welcome? Uh, your welcome mat was rolled up hours ago when you decided to kiss me. Do you think that was too harsh? Nah, the kid needed to learn that just because he's in high school, not every girl will fall at his paws. Pretty sure that besides our invitations at the Harridan residence, our friendship with that kid has also expired. <laughs> yeah, thanks Jet. What are you thanking me for? For being the best friend a girl could have. Um, uh, yeah, um, sure thing. Do you want to come over to my house for a little bit, just to, you know, chill? That sounds great and all, Jet, but it's a little late and I've got work tomorrow, too. Oh, right, yeah. Well, could I at least walk you home? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Not at all. Let's go. Why must you do this? Why must I do what? At first, I thought it was just a stupid little crush and it'd go away. But no, it's something more now, isn't it? That day when Jet and Sierra both try to leave is a day I'll, and I definitely know you'll never forget. This is something I fear I can't control. Good. What? Good. I'm glad that you fear you can't control it, because you shouldn't be controlling it anyway. It's my life, something you should have no concern over. Mother and father wouldn't have approved. Mother and father aren't here. You're in love with a girl who I know cares nothing for you, and yet you still persist on. I suppose I should be thanking Sierra for her ignorance towards you. She's maintaining her happiness better than you are. You know we only say that to keep the pets in the community in line. You don't need to say it here. Besides, I'm sick of hearing it and saying it anyway. You know we say it for more of a reason than that. 
Anyways. King, about you and Sierra, that should be none of your concern. Do I involve myself in your personal and love life? No. So I expect the same respect I give to you from you. I respect you, King. In every way possible. And you don't involve yourself because you don't have to. I keep my personal and love interests to myself because that's a crucial thing to do. To keep our image in line. So, so pets respect us. So the pets in this community know that we can be trusted but intimidating when the moment's right. But you flaunting this quote unquote love around and it especially being Sierra, she in no way is and never will be at our level. It's time you realize that. There are hundreds of other pets whom I know of from other communities that would love to meet and get acquainted with you that are of our equal and maybe even higher level. <laughs> I'm not sure if you forgot, but she's the one who... I'm not sure if you forgot, but I am two years older than you. So, in all actuality, I have a higher supremacy over you. Which should leave you to deduce that you were not always the ringleader. You can't have a hold over this. You can't control it. King, I... I, I just care for you. I don't want... <sighs> You're my sister, Marari, not my parent. I care for you too, but concerning this situation, step off the pedestal. <sighs> I can control a lot more than you think.